All right, scouts, welcome back today. Today we're gonna do a little segment, short segment about editing videos, and then we're gonna make a short little video so that you can see what I'm doing today. So just an ex as an example today. So we're back in the studio to again, but the, actually I'm not gonna need my video today. I'm only needing my sound. So I'm in the studio to get my narrative. So I'm gonna do a narrative. Now you don't wanna just take some pictures and then try to create a story out of that. But you first wanna start with the idea of what your story is and what you wanna get across. And then we write out a little bit, we make some notes and that kind of stuff. And we can even write a program of what we're gonna say and that kind of stuff. And then we go immediately to a storyboard. And a storyboard is just a bunch of uh, boxes and kind of stuff and this is kind of the views that I'm gonna do in the video here so I've created a storyboard and you see my drawings not fantastic my drawing is just like little stick figures and notes and writing here and there to tell me what I'm gonna do and so this is gonna be the background and the basis for how I put the movie together in the editing. Now I'm telling you today, I, my goal is to shoot for a two to three minute video. That's all I want is a two to three minute video. So that means I need to add sound, I need to add some music maybe, I'm gonna add some photographs to put in there, I'm gonna add some video clips and that kind of stuff and mix it all together. And I'm gonna do it in eight main shots. And so I'm gonna do it in eight main shots like that. But I wanted, I'm going to spend about an hour to two hours today to be able to produce a two-minute video. Now, you could produce a two-minute video in five minutes, but the, the problem is if you do a video too fast, your quality is going to be really, really low. So I'd rather do a short video with great quality and a lot of fun and a lot of excitement and so I'm gonna spend a lot of time doing that. And I'm not an expert by any means in producing videos and using the different software. So today, one of my friends named Jose, he's really good at, uh, at video editing and that kind of stuff. So Jose is gonna help me and he's actually holding the camera right now, but he's gonna help me in the video editing to be able to do it even faster. Um, and so he's got a lot of skills with that. And so this is my storyboard. And so this is what I'm gonna follow. So right now, I'm going to actually do narration of my video. So I'm going to have narration. Now remember, you don't want to talk like, today we went on a scout trip and it was a lot of fun and we went to Kampong Sam. That's not how you want to talk. You want to talk like you're excited, like it's, um, you, wanna, you want the energy of the video to come across through the sound, through the music. You know, you want to come across through the pictures and the more energy is there behind it, the more that people are going to want to watch it and it'll be interesting. So I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with this. So right now I'm going to re re record the narrative that goes along and then I'm going to add the video shots and I'm going to do, so I don't have any live video for this. I'm doing a narrative. I'm going to add music and then I'm going to have graphics and I'm going to have video and even still shots come in and I'm going to tell a story today of when we roasted a pig last year at a camp out. And so I'm gonna tell about scout skills for roasting a pig. So that's my video that I'm gonna try and do in about two minutes. Scout skills for roasting a pig. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna do the narrative for the video. Scout skills for roasting a pig. Now we want to start out by obtaining a pig and we want the best pig that we can find. Now to be able to get the best pig that we can find, this is going to take some scout skills. And so we're probably going to have to go hunting in the jungle and in the woods. And so that's going to require one of two scout merit badges and scout skills. We're either going to use archery merit badge and archery skills to shoot a pig. Now but that's going to be really hard. Or we're going to use riflery and we're gonna shoot a pig with a rifle. Well, then there's another merit badge that we're probably gonna use, and that's the business merit badge. And we're actually gonna calculate the price of a pig, and we're gonna go buy a pig instead of having to go hunt one down and shoot it ourselves. But those are three different scout skills that could be required to actually get your pig. Now then, we get the pig, and we got a great big whole pig, and then we, we we get the pig and then we have to take the skin off the pig and then we cut it open 
and we're going to start to do surgery on it. So we need sewing merit badge. And so sewing merit badge uh, is going to teach us how to sew. And so we've got to sew the belly of the pig up. We've got to sew the legs up. And we got to sew it all because we took all the guts out of the pig or the store took the guts out of the pig, and so we've got to sew it all back up, sewing merit badge. And we've got to have animal science merit badge too, because we need to know the parts of a pig. So animal science merit badge. And you know what a pig skin is made out of? A pig skin is made out of pig leather. And so there is a leather working merit badge. So I think leather working merit badge and sewing merit badge together is a great combination. So, so far we just got a pig and we start sewing him up and that's five merit badges right there. Well then we stick a pole right through the pig. We start in his mouth and then go out his, <clears throat> yeah. And so in his, anyways, that requires dentistry merit badge. You know you could break a tooth, hit a tooth, come down his throat, cause a lot of mouth damage. So we need dentistry merit badge to know how to insert the pole properly into the pig's mouth. Okay, and then we got to we got to start a fire and we know the skills that it takes, especially in Troop 73 to make a fire. What are the skills that it takes to take a fire? We take our flint and steel and we go and go and go and go and go and nothing happens. And then we get some magnesium out and get some sparks and we get it going. And then what? Oh no. Then somebody comes up with a flamethrower and starts lighting stuff up. So then we have to be concerned about fire safety. Yes indeed, fire safety is a merit badge. Well then we gotta get the, the fire going and we got the pig on the on the we gotta use our knot skills and everything to make a tripod to hold the pig up over the fire and that kind of stuff and then we gotta have people turning the pig. Well what does that mean? We're gonna have to turn a pig for hours and hours on end. What's that gonna to take. I tell you what that's going to take. It's going to take personal fitness merit badge. Personal fitness merit badge. Keep the muscles moving. Keep the cardio going as we work to get this pig to completion. Well, you'll be bored if you just sit there and watch the pig smoking and, and churning in the fire. And so we need to have some tunes. And so what better than to have music merit badge? Because music merit badge is something that's a lot of fun for the whole troop to enjoy. And so we got music merit badge. Well then finally, after five or six hours of cooking, by the way, cooking merit badge, there we go, cooking merit badge, we finally have a beautiful, beautiful smelling, beautiful looking pig. And so then we're gonna start chopping it up. Now I hope you're not gonna need first aid merit badge because we don't want any injuries, but just in case, it would be good to have first aid merit badge handy so that we can make our pig and we've been to get chop it up and chop it up and chop it up into the various pieces and all the scouts come and we enjoy eating and there should be an eating merit mer badge but I'm afraid there's not but it really would be cool to have a eating merit badge but I want to tell you even though it takes all these different scout skills to roast a pig I can tell you one thing the only credit you're really getting for this roasting pig is the movie making merit badge and that's what this movie is about is movie making merit badge so here you are a great way for all the scout skills to be presented in roasting a pig in movie making merit badge